Good. You're all here. Let's be on our way. Um, are you sure about this, Ulm? Am I sure about what? Oh, please. About Salika. You finally see her after God's know how long, and you end up in a spat? Hey, don't give me that look. We all know she took off in a right huff. You two used to be inseparable. What happened? <sighs> that was a long time ago, Tobin. A lot's happened. To both of us. Hmm. Well, I'm no expert, but I think a normal person would just apologize. I'm sure she hasn't gotten too far yet. What with those skinny legs and all. Seriously, Tobin? You're, you're passing out relationship advice now? Give it a rest. It's not like every fight has a right side and a wrong side. Get over it, Gray. I'm well aware of that. It's just... Well, this could be the last time Alm and Selica see each other. You'd think they'd want to part on a less sour note. It's all right, Tobin. I appreciate what you're saying. But this is something for me and Selica to work out on our own. Besides, I'm the leader of the Deliverance now. It wouldn't be right to keep everyone waiting on my own private business. Um... Selica! Mm hmm? I'm sorry, May. I was lost in thought. Did you need something? Me? <laughs> no, I'm fine, like always. But what about you? That guy leading the deliverance is a friend of yours, right? I know we're in a rush, but surely we had time for you to say goodbye. It's fine. That isn't necessary. But Selica! May, I need to reach the Temple of Mila as soon as possible. I know the Mother will reveal a path to save Zofia that doesn't involve violence. I don't know about this, Bowie. Silk is acting all weird. I wonder what happened. Well, can you blame her? I'm sure she's more than a little conflicted. If the Deliverance defeats Desai and drives the Empire back, what next? Zofia will need a ruler, and who better than a boy who cast off Tyranny's yoke? What? But Selica's the rightful heir! Yeah, but she can't exactly just go and announce that to everyone. If she did, she'd be made to lead the deliverance effort herself. Believe me, that's the last thing Selica wants right now. I hate it when you make sense, Bowie. But that just means we have to haul tail to the Temple of Mila. The Earth Mother will know what to do. She'll take care of everything. I pray it's truly so simple. Once we cross this mountain, we'll finally reach the coast. It's a hard climb, but I know we'll make it. Hold. Hmm? Who's there? <sighs> You're the one from before. I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I'd hoped for a chance to properly thank you for helping us. I've no use for thanks. I come bearing a warning. Proceed no further here. What? I must know a reason for this warning. The terrain ahead is loose and prone to failure. Additionally, there are still forces in play who would see you harmed. If you must attain the Temple of Mila, strike west through the mountains. West? But that's where Om... You have been warned. Wait, please! And he's gone! Again! I seriously want to know who this creepy mask guy is and why he's following us. As do I, May. But regardless, this makes twice he's aided us. And with that dire warning ringing in our ears, what is your plan, my lady? Do we follow Mr. Mask's advice and take the western route? That would be quite a detour. Do we have any cause to trust this masked fellow in the first place? Sure, he helped us out before, but that's no guarantee of pure motive. And what was that bit about forces in play who would see you harmed? Is he saying more people are going to turn up and try to kidnap Selica? Hmm. <sighs> no. We continue on as planned. I'm not dismissing what he said, but our purpose cannot brook delay. If we are attacked, I have faith we can prevail. Besides, even the cleverest trap will betray some sign to a watchful eye. So as long as we continue to be vigilant, we'll be all right. Hmm, and here she is at last. 
Do not mistake me for the base fools who came before. My power was bestowed upon me by Jetta himself. Now go, crush the girl and the pitiful insects accompanying her! <laughs> You warned me this would happen, and yet I... Do not apologize, but stop allowing petty emotion to cloud your judgment. Your choices steer the fates of more than just yourself. You're right. I can offer no rebuttal. Still, there's little sense in turning back when you're almost through. The Zofian coast is just ahead. The road beyond should offer safe passage. How can you be certain? My prey were kind enough to use magic potent enough to reveal their location. Gone again. As sudden as ever. I wish he would at least offer his name. Yeah, talk about your shady characters. Still, I suppose he seems like a decent enough guy. Yeah, well, Mr. Mask seems to enjoy our company. I wager we'll see him again. And you're sure you've got no guess as to who he might be? None. I've no allies left in this world, save the ones I travel with now. Oof. Didn't mean to sour the mood. Forget I asked. It's all right. But back to the matter at hand. The road is well and truly blocked now. I don't think we'll be heading back that way anytime soon. Then it's a lucky thing we've no need to head that direction. Now we couldn't go to Aid Ulm even if we wanted to. Milady? It's nothing. We've spent enough time here. Let's press on. Whoa! What's that sound? The ground is unstable around here. There must have been another rock slide. Some distance off from the sound of it. We've no worry of harm to our men. That's good, but... A report, sir. A cliff has given way along the Eastern Ridge. The route to the Sophian coast is blocked. The Eastern Ridge? That's the direction Selica was heading. Oh, Selica. Please be all right. After Desai killed the king and the knights were effectively disbanded, it was Matilda who suggested we regroup and start the deliverance. While I wallowed in my stupor and wondered what would become of us, she was the calm voice of wisdom who knew what must be done. I have been pursued by many high-standing women in dresses most fine, but Matilda was the first to truly stand shoulder to shoulder with me. She is a goddess made flesh, and one I scarcely deserve. You know, I have an elder brother, but I would not say we are close. We don't share the same mother, for one. As the Elder, he will succeed my father and inherit the family estate. Yet still, he sees me as a rival. As such, when word rose of the Deliverance, my brother was overjoyed. He ordered me to leave home and enlist at once. In truth, it was a cunning plan. If Desai won, he could simply feign ignorance. But if the Deliverance won, he could name himself as its benefactor. Oh well. That's enough musing for one day, I think. Regardless of how I arrived, I am deeply glad to have joined the Deliverance.
Sir Ulm, our scouts have spied Regellian forces up ahead. Then the battle begins here. So it seems. The fights ahead will be nothing like our skirmishes in the south. You've wounded Regel's pride, and they will strike back without mercy. But the spirit of Sophia demands you prevail. There's no turning back now. I know. There you are, Welp. I thought you'd never arrive. <laughs> Wait a second. Fernand! You march beneath Regel's standard now? Does that really surprise you, Clive? You and the Deliverance took all I believed in and trod it into the mire. In Regel, they still have ideals worth upholding. Damn you, Fernand! Listen to yourself! My king is dead. My country fallen. But I'll not hand this land over to you. Now, it is the Regellian Empire's turn. Lord Burkut shall lead us, and unite Valentia under one noble order. Come to your senses, Fernand. You have always fought for your motherland, for Sophia. Only one of us has lost his senses, Clive. What? Allow me to enlighten you. That boy you have been parading around as your new hero? He was never Mycen's grandson. Oh, what is this folly? Oh, I can assure you it is no folly. My source has known Sir Mycen for years. The old knight has no family. <laughs> Perhaps he made some orphan his ward so he wouldn't have to die alone. You lie. And yet... There is the matter of what the old man of the castle said. <laughs> oh, Clive, you've become the very picture of absurdity. Once you were a man to whom the lineage of our noble houses meant all. But now you take for your future king a boy you don't know from a gutter rat. <laughs> would be witches. They are women who have offered their wills and souls to Regel's patron god, Duma. He gave them command of vast magic, but little else of who they were remains. Their tale is a sad one, but hardly unusual in a land so hungry for power. That's terrible. If Regel occupies Zofia, her people could be subjected to the same fate. I won't let that happen! Allow me. Ha! Stand aside! Come at me, fools! Just leave it to me! Nothing will stop me! Fine, twist my arm. Ha! Stand back! I've 
got this. Just say the word. The mother walks with me. Allow me. Tobin, are we gonna clear the air here or what? Yeah, I suppose. So, is it just me, or are you and Claire getting close? Huh? You think? I feel like she spends all her time telling me to bug off. Yeah, but that's just it. She's comfortable around you or else she'd never let her hair down like that. <laughs> that's a weird way of reading into things. Why can't you put that much thought into anything else? Oh, you're looking for a fight? Let's take it outside, clown! We're already outside, and I'm kind of busy fighting these other guys. Uh. <laughs> Come on already, let's take out your aggression on someone who deserves it. Om! Hey, Faye. How are things? Things are utterly fantastic. Aren't you gonna ask me why? Um, why? Well, remember when you sat next to me at dinner yesterday? You gave me that leftover heel of bread you didn't want. You're excited about bread? No, silly. You touched my hand. I was up all night thinking about it. Oh, but don't worry. I drank a bunch of tea, so I'm ready to kill in your name. Just point me at your enemies and watch me go. Um, that's... Wow. I guess I'm glad she's able to find happiness in the little things. But I'm worried about the toll this war is taking on her. Four marks. 
Go you! Muscles! Who wants to touch them? Okay! Come on! It's hard being this good! Getting stronger. Forgive me, it had to be done. again. I'm not the only force at play here. I'm sorry, are you... reading? Uh, oh, um, hello, Lucas. It strikes me as unwise for you to have your head in a book at a time like this. I yes, you're probably right. But I swear, I'm paying attention to the battle. Please don't tell Sir Clive about this. Peace, friend. I was just looking out for you. If I may, 
Which literary work has so enraptured your interest? Oh, this? It's an old tactical codex. My father lent it to me when I left home. Well, it's more like I took it. My father is a scholar, so I spent my childhood surrounded by books. Really? I didn't know. That must have been wonderful. I do enjoy a good page-turner. Yes, I've noticed that you're something of an avid reader. Guilty as charged. My father wouldn't have it, though. He insisted I train in the arts of war. What I wouldn't have given for just one full day, curled up with a good book. Really? Well, that's one way to look at it, I suppose. <sighs> Join Lord Rakut and the main force. you that.
about me. of this. We've emerged victorious, but the survivors will be making their way back to the main force. We can't rest on our laurels now. Wouldn't you agree, Clive? Hmm? Uh, yes, quite. What is it? You look shaken. Oh, right. Forgive me. You and Fernand were good friends. No, it's not that. Well, it's not just that. In any case, it's nothing you need trouble yourself with. If you'll excuse me. What's with him? 